Alright guys, what is going on? Our day simulation back with some more car mechanic simulator. I have had some requests on doing some car mechanic simulator. Uh, also, if you guys remember in my very last stream of car mechanic simulator, we were going to start restoring this car. And that's what we're going to continue with before we get into working on or taking any more orders remember guys go down there and hit that like button and if you're new to the channel take your time watch some of my videos then hit that subscribe button and thank you for checking out my channel and also to the newly new people that have subscribed uh, in my last stream uh, guys I do appreciate it girls guys I do appreciate it very much uh, welcome to the RJ simulation crew um, however we're gonna start with taking this apart and buying all the parts back so let's get right into it uh, but I have had um, several requests to do car mechanic simulator again uh, I think you guys do miss seeing me play car mechanic simulator it is something different considering I've been focused on American truck simulator for the past uh, the past I don't know how long but um, we're going to get back into Car Mechanic Simulator 2 um, because I do enjoy playing Car Mechanic Simulator. But we are going to get this motor tore down and all that good stuff. And we might try to throw the motor back in. However, we might actually try to um, might actually try to uh, fix up the front end of the car before we do that. We won't get to it in this video. Uh, but we will get to it in a later episode. Um, we're going to completely restore this car and sell it. Hopefully it will bring us lots of money. Of course, we only have like $17,000 right now, which ain't very much at all when it comes to cars. So we're kind of low on money, just like an American truck. We are definitely low on money in American truck. But we will eventually get there. We will eventually get there. Alright, so we'll go over here and take these spark plugs out real quick. And my phone, the phone over there is ringing off the hook. So apparently people are needing their cars worked on pretty bad. Let's go ahead and take the belt tensioner off. Uh, what else do we need to pull off before ah the uh, auto roller? All right. Uh, go ahead and take the serpentine belts off. Crankshaft pulley. Get that pulled off. Get all of these little auto rollers pulled off. These are a pain in the butt because there's so many of them. So many of them. But, I'm going to try to have a decent uh, video put together for you guys uh, for, you guys will be seeing this tomorrow. Um, so, I'll actually be recording it tonight and uploading it to tomorrow. Uh, but, I think you guys in will enjoy it. Uh, I've been wanting to continue Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, I just didn't know how you guys would like it until I asked in the live stream last night. And I actually got a good response. So, um, some of you were definitely interested in seeing uh, Car Mechanic Simulator again. Oh, we gotta take the heads off. Uh, What ah uh, the fuel rail ID? That's what was giving us problems. All right. So get everything. Get the supercharger in takeoff and ah uh, the camshafts. Can't forget those. 
I wished, and I know they've got mods out for Car Mechanic Simulator now, and I'm going to try to get some of those mods. Um, that way it'll kind of be different for you guys to see some modded cars. I know I was looking and they had like a uh, Ford Focus. Um, so I'm going to try to get some mods as well. If I can figure out how to install them, which it shouldn't be too awful hard. At least... Wait, where the... Maybe... That's in an odd spot to actually be took off. But it is what it is, though. Get the flywheel took off. V8 engine block. But, ah yes, we gotta turn it, gotta rotate it, gotta rotate it. Um, let's see here, engine stand, rotate right. Alright, that'll give us enough to get the pistons out. Or the little, uh, rod caps off. Then we'll be, no. But we will take that off, considering it does have to come off anyway. And there's so many of these right here. Well, there's technically eight of them, but still quite a few, though. Still quite a few. I can't wait to see what this car is going to look like after we get done with it. I think it's going to look really, really good, in my opinion. Just in my opinion, I'm hoping to actually have this engine done and put back in the car. Uh, before the episode is over. So it looks like we got everything out of those. And we need to rotate back and slide out the pistons. Just to slide out the pistons. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Um, Alright, so that has got that. Alright guys, I will return in just a second. I'm going to buy all these parts. And then we're going to put this motor back together. Or I'm going to buy as many of these parts as I can. And we will put the motor back together. Catch you guys in just one second. All right, guys, welcome back. I have got all the stuff purchased, and we are now ready to start putting this big V8 motor back together, guys. Back together. All right. So we're gonna start with crankshaft, and. Everything is brand new, guys. Everything is brand new. So I need to rotate left. Ah, shoot. You know what we gotta do? We got to put the pistons together. Uh, use twin parts. There are no items to work with. Has there no items to work with? Separate part? Join parts. Did I not? Yeah, but... No. I want to join parts. Join. Why is it not letting me join parts? That is what that's for, ain't it? Yeah, that's to join parts, so... Or is that... No, that's for the shock. I think. Then where's the one for the pistons? Because I know the pistons have one, too. Did they move it on? No. Um, 
that's not got no yeast, so that's the repair bench. It's been forever since I've played this. Da 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 da. Um. Oh, never mind, never mind. That's for the shocks only. I had a <laughs> long moment right there. Get this bad boy back up here, and we will put the pistons back in. Don't judge me on that one, guys. Um, um, that was a huge bond moment. Huge blonde moment right there. Alright. No. And I should have went ahead and got the flywheel and all that. But I kind of forgot it. We'll get it here in just a second though. But, like I said guys, I do enjoy Card Mechanic Simulator because it can be challenging at times. So I do enjoy it. Hopefully you guys like this uh, restoration, restoration of the uh, car that we're doing. At least I hope so. But we are definitely going to try our best to fix everything the best we can, which is going to be a hundred percent, no doubt, no doubt. Who knows? We might even throw the engine back in this thing. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see where we get to. We should be able to get pretty far. All this chrome though, or stainless steel, whatever kind of parts these are. They look so much better and so much less rustier. Um, I don't think we're going to put the oil pan on yet. I think we'll save that for a later date. No. Alright. Engine stand. Rotate right. Alright. So now then, part mount. So we're going to start with the head covers, engine heads. Gonna start with the engine heads. Go ahead and put these two back on. Put the other engine head on. Put the other engine head. Are we missing one? Nope, I just couldn't see it. I was blind. I was blind as a bat, guys. Blind as a bat. We definitely are going to get this motor done in this episode, though. Definitely going to get it done. We get the cam gears put back on. Supercharger intake manifold back on. Get the timing belt put back on. Get the other timing belt put back on. And the timing cover. And let's go ahead and put the alternator on. And the power steering pump. And let's get all the little idler rollers back on. Get all of them back on. And the water pump.
Yeah, we'll continue putting these on or we'll never get them all put on because I like to uh, bypass those as much as I can because those things are really annoying. The little auto, auto rotors are very annoying sometimes, but the job has to be done. Alright, let's get the supercharger on there. Let's go over to this side. Tighten up the bolts. We are ready for the supercharger serpentine belt to go back on. Then the serpentine belt A. That's ready to go back on. Get the auto roller A on. Then get the belt tensioner back on. This has actually went pretty smooth, guys. Pretty smooth. And I always leave that, that boat right there last. For some reason, I don't know, it's just a habit, I guess. Just a habit. Alright, let's get the mission cools back on get the ignition cools I actually like the ignition cools better than I do fuel rail ID better than I do the uh, distributor cap and all that the distributor cap is always really annoying to me or at least to me they are and get the spark plugs put back in on this side. And get the coils cover back on. Oh yeah, feel real ID. And the throttle. Get that bolted back on. And just real quick, just make sure I didn't miss nothing. Alright, so we need a fuel filter and flywheel and exhaust manifold. So we're gonna go ahead and get that real quick. So let's go down here and get the exhaust manifold V8. Need two of those. And uh, what else was it? Fuel filter. And we needed the flywheel. Uh, that and that. All right. Let's get the flywheel back on. No nope. clutch pressure plate. And not the you know what I mean you know what I mean I had a real big uh oh there alright now I wanted to save the fuel filter or the oil pan and all that for last and uh, what we're going to try to do is we are going to try to change out the radiator and all that. Um, Two in this episode. Let's go back to the engine. We need oil filter and oil pan. Alright, so oil filter V8 and oil pan V8. That is a huge oil pan. <laughs> Very big. Let's see, rotate right. Get out of there. Don't need that anymore. Let's do part mount. Let's get the boats tightened up on this. And get the fuel filter put back on, and voila, the engine is done, guys. Hallelujah. 
All right. So now then, let's go in here and. Did I forget an auto auto brother? It's saying I did. Part mount. But. I guess it didn't. No. Ah. Right. So let's see what we can do now. I think we're gonna get the battery and the radiator and the brake servo and I like to get the engine done first. That way I didn't even see radiator fan. Alrighty. So let's go to the store. Let's get the let's see radiator fan housing. So need one of those and radiator fan. Then we need a battery. Can't forget the battery. And then we needed brake servo and brake molecule and ABS pump. All right, so let's go. No, let's get these put back on. We don't got the fuel filter. I've seen it pop up there. And uh, let's go ahead and. No, 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 no. Aw, oh, man. I got the wrong radiator fan. So let's go here. Engine. Cell. No. Did I not even get the radiator A? I didn't, did I? Oops. So we need a radiator fan A. Radiator fan A. Do I have enough to buy it? Yes, just barely. Well, not just barely, but altogether we're going to have like very little money left over. Alright, let's sell the battery. Or put the battery in and it looks like everything oh no got to put in the radiator fan housing oh no 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 is that bad radiator fan housing Wait a minute here. Something didn't seem right there. Ready to fan. Hmm. Ready to fan housing. There we go. That's better. Alright. Alrighty. So we will go over here and get our engine crane or cherry picker is what we normally call them Let's see here if I can remember how to do this take engine off uh, install boom looky there guys looky there alright so There we go, guys. Got the engine in there. Hallelujah. Yes, so it does look better. Um, I don't think we're going to have time. Actually, let's go ahead and sell all of these. Since we no longer need them. Go ahead and sell these. Gearbox. We can sell those. 
I actually should probably try to um, actually you know what does that even have a I don't even have a windshield in it all right so what we're gonna do in the next episode is we're gonna probably gonna do the front and back suspension and the exhaust and maybe the body if we can so that's what we're gonna to try to do for the next video so guys I hope you all enjoyed this video and guys don't forget to go down there and leave a big thumbs up and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button guys I do hope you guys enjoyed this video once again I know I just said it I do apologize but guys thank you all for the support I do appreciate it it means a whole lot to me and the channel um, guys you all have been amazing I do appreciate everything and guys until next time, I will catch you in the next episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Bye for now.